Hello students, if you remember in the last lecture, I did introduce myself and we also began with the cover page of the history book. If you remember, I also discussed with you about what are the various sources of history. And in the very first lecture, we did discuss that there are three sources of history, oral sources, material sources and written sources. In this context, we already discussed as to what are oral sources and what are material sources. When we talked about, if you remember, the Jallianwala Bagh, we talked about uh, the cellular jail that is Andabar and Nicobar. Today, what are we going to discuss or talk about? We are going to go in depth and detail about as to what are the various sources of history in terms of written sources. Now, when I say written sources, these written sources are recorded. They are there as an evidence when we talk about learning of history. So what are these various sources of written history? The very first, if you look on this board, you'll find that the very first source of written history is correspondence. Now, what is correspondence? Where the two sections, you can say the primary and the secondary uh, things are included in the correspondence when we talk about history. Detail about it, which we will surely discuss in the ninth standard. I don't want to confuse you. The second is what called as foreign accounts. Now, when we say foreign accounts, it makes very clear those historians who have written about India or those historians who have contributed to the history of our country. Now, one such great personality that you need to remember right till Sanat 10 is Herodotus. He is called as the father of modern history. Now, going on to the newspaper. Now, these are what they are all written sources. This is an evidence to the history. Now, when we say newspaper, you need to understand that the newspaper played a very important role, not only during independence, but even pre-independence. Now, what is the meaning of the word pre, sir? The word pre means before. Now, before independence, the newspaper played a very vital role or rather an important role. So, how did it play an important role? They brought about an awakening in the masses. Now, if you remember where Dr. Bhimrao Ramji Ambedkar started with what called as the various periodicals, he started with the newspaper he actually brought about an awakening in the masses through the newspaper. Then we come to biographies. Now you need to understand as to what are biographies. Biographies are basically, for example, if somebody is writing about me, my lifestyle, what is my contribution towards the nation and to the society. Now in order to write a biography, a person needs to be really very famous. Nobody would read a biography if it is written about Sir Afghan. But if, like for example, you remember the recent movie Sanju, it was a biography. On whose life? It was on the life of Sanjay Dhan. Now the next, when you come to this list, you come to the next is periodicals. Now you need to understand children as to what are periodicals. Periodicals are basically, basically those magazines, newspapers, uh, journals, which are printed either weekly, monthly or quarterly. Now next is the factory records. Now these factory records did not prevail. If you understand that this does not prevail uh, after 1992, the factory records were used actually uh, by the factories to label. When we talk about industrial revolution, the industrial revolution can be taken to what called as to the factory records. Now talking about what are autobiographies. Now I am so inspired with myself that you know I think of writing my own autobiography. Uh, for example, a main camp written by Adolf Hitler or my struggle that is written by uh, Mahatma Gandhi is all what is the autobiography. Now, if you look at the books, the books also contributed greatly to what you can call it as to the independence of our country. People were inspired. Now, when we talk about the newspaper and periodicals, you need to understand that what do they do? They provide us with the information and about the events. They also provide us with the information about eminent people. There are editorial, editorials that have been published. We also get information about the various political, social, economical and cultural happening that is happening around the world. If you look at the pre-independence period, there were many newspapers like Nanode, Nyan Prakash, Amrit Bazar and many other paper that actually inspired the people. They also wrote about the various policies that the Britishers implemented at that time. Now, what did this newspaper talk about? Rather, if you remember, one of the greatest uh, journalists in the history of Maharashtra, we had Bal Gangadhar Tilak, also known as Lokmanya Tilak. He also papered the newspaper like Kesri and Maratha. 
what did they did they brought about an awakening among the people through this newspaper we can study about the various policies that the british adopted during the time when they were ruling us we can talk about the effects that it had on a country now during the entire period of the britishers what you need to understand my friend it also talked about the events that happened during the time as to how did they brought about a reformation Hello students, if you remember in the last lecture, I did introduce myself and we also began with the cover page of the history book. If you remember, I also discussed with you about what are the various sources of history. And in the very first lecture, we did discuss that there are three sources of history, oral sources, material sources and written sources. In this context, we already discussed as to what are oral sources and what are material sources where we talked about if you remember the jallianwala bag we talked about uh, the cellular jail that is andabar and nicobar today what are we going to discuss or talk about we are going to go in depth and detail about as to what are the various sources of history in terms of written sources now when i say written sources these written sources are recorded they are there as an evidence when we talk about learning of history so what are these various sources of written history? The very first, if you look on this board, you'll find that the very first source of written history is correspondence. Now what is correspondence? Where the two sections, you can say the primary and the secondary uh, things are included in the correspondence when we talk about history. Detail about it, which we will surely discuss in the ninth standard. I don't want to confuse you. The second is what called as foreign accounts. Now when we say foreign accounts, it makes very clear those historians who have written about India or those historians who have contributed to the history of our country. Now, one such great personality that you need to remember right till standard 10 is Herodotus. He is called as the father of modern history. Now, going on to the newspaper. Now, these are what they are all written sources. This is an evidence to the history. Now when we say newspaper, you need to understand that the newspaper played a very important role not only during independence but even pre-independence. Now what is the meaning of the word pre sir? The word pre means before. Now before independence, the newspaper played a very vital role or rather an important role. Sir, how did it play an important role? They brought about an awakening in the masses. Now if you remember when Dr. Bhimrao Ramji Ambedkar started with what called as the various periodicals, he started with the newspaper he actually brought about an awakening in the masses through the newspaper. Then we come to biographies. Now you need to understand as to what are biographies. Biographies are basically, for example, if somebody is writing about me, my lifestyle, what is my contribution towards the nation and to the society. Now in order to write a biography, a person needs to be really very famous. Nobody would read a biography if it is written about Sir Afghan. But if, like for example, you remember the recent movie Sanju, it was a biography. On whose life? It was on the life of Sanjay Dutt. Now the next, when you come to this list, you come to the next is periodicals. Now you need to understand children as to what are periodicals. Periodicals are basically, basically those magazines, newspapers, uh, journals, which are printed either weekly, monthly or quarterly. Now next is the factory records. Now these factory records did not prevail. If you understand that this does not prevail uh, after 1992, the factory records were used actually uh, by the factories to label. When we talk about industrial revolution, the industrial revolution can be taken to what called as to the factory records. Now talking about what are autobiographies. Now I am so inspired with myself that you know I think of writing my own autobiography. Uh, for example, a main camp written by Adolf Hitler or my struggle that is written by uh, Mahatma Gandhi is all what is the autobiography. Now, if you look at the books, the books also contributed greatly to what you can call it as to the independence of our country. People were inspired. Now, when we talk about the newspaper and periodicals, you need to understand that what do they do? They provide us with the information and about the events. They also provide us with the information about eminent people. There are editorial, editorials that have been published. We also get information about the various political, social, economical and cultural happening that is happening around the world. If you look at the pre-independence period, there were many newspapers like Nanode, Nyan Prakash, Amrit Bazaar and many other paper that actually inspired the people. 
they also wrote about the various policies that the Britishers implemented at that time. Now, what did this newspaper talked about? Rather, if you remember, one of the greatest uh, journalists in the history of Maharashtra, we had Bal Gangadhar Tilak, also known as Lokmanya Tilak. He also papered the newspaper like Kesri and Maratha. What did they do? They brought about an awakening among the people. Through this newspaper, we can study about the various policies that the British adopted during the time when they were ruling us. We can talk about the effects that it had on a country. Now, during the entire period of the Britishers, what you need to understand, my friend, it also talked about the events that happened during the time as to how did they brought about a reformation. So these social reformers, they published the various articles the various Nibandha Mala that was written by Vishnu Shastri Chuklunkar and Shatapatre that was written by Lok Hitavali. He was also pen name as Gopal Hari Deshmukh. In the weekly Prabhakar and you can see the various comments on the various social and cultural issues. So you can understand the contribution of these great reformers who brought about a tremendous reform in the field of society. They brought about a social change, they brought about a political change and they also brought about economical changes. One such great social reformer whom my dear students, I would like you to pay attention. It is there in your textbook. Do you know? But I would go a little more into depth because this man who is also known as the architect of India, you need to understand about this great personality, Dr. Bhimrao Ramji Ambedkar, also famous, popularly known as Dr. Baba Sahib Ambedkar. TV serial also was going on in the Marathi channel. I hope some of you would be watching it. Now, in order to understand what was his greatest contribution in the field of journalism, he was not just a lawyer, but he was a very good journalist. He was an editor and publisher of many newspapers, of two which I would like to specially mention on the 31st of January. The date is not mentioned in your textbook. 31st of January 1920, he started with a newspaper called as Moknaya. Now, sir, what does the meaning of the word Muknayak means? It means leader of the silent. Now, this newspaper, when he started on the 31st of January 1920, he started it with the help of Chhatrapati Shahu Maharaj of Kolhapur. He also contributed, funded for his newspaper so that Bhimrao Ramji Ambedkar can start with this newspaper. Now, why, sir, there is a big gap between 1920 and 27? It was during this time where, for his further studies, in order to get further education, Bhimra Ramji Ambedkar had been to England. But while he was going to England, he handed over his newspaper, the publishing part of it, to his colleagues, which means his friends. The second newspaper that he published was on the 3rd of April, 1927. Again, I am repeating it, my dear students, that you will have the mention of the year 1920 and 27. I would request you to jot down it with a pencil somewhere if you have the textbook if you don't have the textbook jot it somewhere the date which newspaper sir he started with he started with Bahishkrut or Bahishkrit if you can see I have written here you and I both so Bahishkrut or Bahishkrit Bharat which is also called as untouchable India so you can see the role that Ramji Bhimra or Ramji Ambedkar played was very crucial very very important in terms of bringing about an awakening and revolution in the society. If you remember the greatest slogan that Bhimra Ramji Ambedkar gave, Shika Sanghatitwa Sangarshakara. In this, furthermore, when he returned back, he also started with two other newspapers, that is one, Janta and Prabuddha Bharat. So what does the word Janta means? The people. And so what does the word Prabuddha Bharat means? It means awaken India. So these were his newspapers that he contributed for the cause, social development, awakening among the masses was one of his greatest achievement as we all know about Bibrao Ramji Ambedkar. We will further continue with maps and readings. So map is regarded as I said, we will talk about maps and drawing. Map is also regarded as one of the important sources of history. Uh, when you need to understand what is the changing nature of a city or of a particular location, you can trace it through the maps. The Survey of India was an independent department that was established during the British period. Today we have the different methodology that we can use in order to draw the maps and the drawings. Through this scientific method of survey, what did they did? They erected a map of India. Various provisions, various cities and the entire diagram was prepared in such a manner 
then the architect which is proved important from the ancient study of architecture if you look at the beautiful building you can see and understand that the most beautiful building which was initially called as victoria terminus presently called as chhatrapati shivaji maharaj terminus is one such evidence of their architecture the planning of this area as i said let's say for example mumbai the best example of it can be the department of mumbai port trust which was actually been planned by bombay port trust now it is called as mumbai port trust but then it was called as bombay port trust maybe some of your parent dad mom uncle may be working in the bombay port trust so the entire information about the development of bombay city can be understood through the plans that was drafted designed by the architects and engineers so my dear student this is about maps and graphs furthermore we are going to talk about now the oral sources the following were the oral sources which are included in the modern indian history give a minute i will erase the blackboard and i'll come back again okay so just give me a minute to wipe the board so we're going to talk about the various oral sources which we already discussed in the previous about the written source now let us go to the oral source the oral sources include the very first we talk about as the inspirational songs now if you look at the period during the freedom movement the various inspirational songs were composed now some of these songs were even written in uh, further times but some of the songs they were not recorded or rather they were not being written so what happened in that case in that case these songs were being sung by generation and it was passed on to the other generation and they became what called as the inspirational songs many inspirational songs that was written during the period of uh, uh, the freedom movement like say for example when we look at the movie uh, bhagat singh sar faroshi ki tamanna ab hamare dil mein hai dekhna hai kitni taakat bazu ek aatil mein hai that again was sung in the form of a song second part we go to the folk song now what are folk songs it is a kind of a culture maybe of a village maybe of a country also sometimes where you know it has been passed from one generation to the other the next is powada powada is very peculiar or famous in maharashtra we all are aware about it uh, powadas were also being sung about the praises of the kings and maharajas the special powada mentioned here about is of shivaji maharaj if you ever get a chance to see the movie shivaji the next is the folk tales so what are folk tales the folk tales is again it's a story which has been passed from one generation to the other generation the folk tales uh talks about the culture about the bravery uh it also talks about certain times there are a series of stories which are compiled together in the form of a book the next is narration now what is narration where the stories are being narrated now many times these narrations were been recorded they were written but some of these narrations were not being recorded they were not being written so how did it passed on from one generation to another it passed on through the form of a story narration the next is interviews now what are these interviews interviews basically uh, being done of the great personalities which were been recorded like for example if you want to know about uh, what was contribution of bhimrao ramji ambedkar in the constitution there is a video that you can find it on youtube also if you type uh, dr bhimrao ambedkar speeches in assembly uh, you can get a chance and opportunity to see and to listen to it so interviews of different people now the next you see fair now the word fair has a different meaning here literally the word fair is for mela what you can call it as marathi uh, apun manto jatra so fairs jalsa now jalsa is again celebration uh, next is art group there are many band groups there are many arts groups which are there and what do they do they perform different kind of arts the next is what called as rhythmic prose which is also called as ov now these ovs were also being written and what were they written for they were been written in again praising they are a different or traditional style of maharashtra so we will furthermore continue with what are the various sources of history how we can go ahead we'll talk about it now we discussed about the oral sources now let us go to the latest technology that when we talk about is video audio and audio visual sources now what are these sources they are the sources of modern period due to the development that we saw in the technology there was a development in the field of art there was a development in the field of photography there is a development in the field of recording films etc photograph records or films can be used as a very important source of history in order to reveal the history to us the next part of it we will go to the photographs that is there in your textbook now when you talk about the photographs now what are photographs sir photographs are visual sources of modern indian history with the discovery of art of photography now one such famous photographer if you know in the political scenario is uh, uh 
Uddhav Thakre is famous for his aerial photography and one such famous photography college is the JJ College which is exactly opposite the Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj Terminus and what happened what do we get to know from this photography we get the information about the person we get the information about an event we come to know about the uh, visual format and in the case of what called as the medieval period what were they there were paintings that were available so these are the physical features my dear friends about uh, the particular event but sir how do we check with the authenticity authenticity now what is the authenticity of these paintings if at all you are doubtful let's say you have a picture somebody shows you and says this picture belongs to you know 200 years back how do you check the authenticity then you what do you do you do the comparative whether this kind of paper was existing there or not whether this is a black and white photograph or not because in those days there was no color photography there was black and white photography so we need to look at the reliability of it the photograph of a person gives information about the physical features of as to what this style is all about now when we look at it we look at the dressing style from a photograph we come to know about the event a visual image whereas you can see the photograph of an object a structure and what does it helps us it helps us in understanding its nature my friend so one such source that we right now talked about is audio visual sources now next let's go to the recording if you would have been to a court or if you would have seen a movie you know where they have shown the procedure of the court they show you about recording now what is recording now this discovery of recording the technique was also important as photography now initially only the photographs were there now if you know when you talk about audio visual what does it goes with it goes with the picture and it also goes with the recording like say for example you are having your birthday shoot so you were cutting the cake how many people were singing the song all that has been recording so what is recording recording is a form of audio source of history during the modern period the speeches of the leaders and the various personalities the songs are available there they can be used as the source of history for example your own national anthem the janagana mana how do you sing that was been composed by rabindranath tagore so these are the various sources of history through which we can study more about it so the speeches of dr bhimrao ramji ambedkar and subhash chandra bose can also be seen as a means of audio sources uh, so we talked about the audio part we talked about the visual part now let us go to one something which today has changed the entire or rather brought about a revolution in the field of history and that is films my friend films are considered as a unique discovery of modern technology in the 20th century there was a great development in the technique of filmmaking and one such great personality is dada saheb phalke in the year 1913 1913 when the entire film was made you might have heard about this movie i don't know but if you log on to the google search you can come to know about the movie raja harishchandra it was first kind of the movie which was made in a full length and it was a black and white movie it laid the foundation of the film industry so the audio visual recording of the various satyagrahs of mahatma gandhi if you want to see especially that of the dandi yatra as i said that gandhi ji is associated again with teen ka fund i remember in the beginning i said three sources of history ancient history medieval history and modern history in the similar way gandhi ji is also associated with three major movement what are they sir we'll talk about it my dear student in the next but just giving you an idea non cooperation movement civil disobedience movement and quit india movement so when we talk about films there are films which are being preserved and they have been kept now compared to the ancient and medieval period the sources or the study of modern indian history are found in abundance and they are in variety the archaeological sources of this period are uh, you can say to a great extent they are much better there are many written sources that are preserved in the archives while referring the written sources the ideology and opinions of the authors needs to be examined you need to check so there is a great need of preserving this historical sources through which the rich tradition of our country can be passed to the next generation i hope my dear students you might have understood as to what are sources of history uh, i am very sure that these sources of history we discussed that is the material source the oral source and the written source would have definitely added to your knowledge and let me just say one statement my dear friends remember the three us read the lesson review this audio video and finally do a recap as to what was being taught and the next major step that you need to follow though we all are at home that is your homework so here is your homework you can see here on this blackboard 
Your first homework is complete the following diagram. You can see I've made a diagram material sources and eight arrows are there. So you need to show me what are the eight material sources which are used as a means to study history. That is your first homework. Question number one and question number two is write short notes one. Now this short notes are the very first short note is about photographs. As I said, I mentioned that our own chief minister of Maharashtra is one of the best photographer. He is also a student of JJ school. So first short note is photographs. So I don't want you to write about Uddhav Dakre, but what is there in your textbook. The second short note is about museums and history. And the third one that you can see here down at the bottom is audio sources. So I hope you, my dear friends, have understood the concept as to what is sources of history because the similar lesson in great detail and in great depth we have it in standard ninth. I hope you enjoyed it. Please go through this audio and video again and again if your concepts are not clear. Thank you very much. God bless each one of you. Thank you.